What's up guys, Sinistalker here for a brand new video. In this video right up here, just a quick little, you know, vlogging it up, kind of just winging it up, stocking up, kind of just hanging out, chilling, talking with you guys, interacting, maybe hit up a couple stores, kind of just chilling up. It's evening time, so it's about eight o'clock. As I'm recording, it is Monday evening around, it's around about eight o'clock right now. So the light is still out, but the sun is definitely setting. So can I go out, go around town, cool, some, just some local stuff here in my area, and just go from there. You guys had a great, Fourth of July, if you guys you know are in the states and celebrate it, and you guys, if you guys had a chance to check out the latest Hood Drinks installment with a man P Nasty, aka Uncle P, because he wants you, because he's down, he'll go down, and he's down. Yes, right, he is. But anyway, with me, him, and then aka Freedom Stalker, freeing up for all the Hood Drink Army out there as we take on some uh, the Hood Drinks finest. We had a great time making it. Awesome costumes. It was fun to have him over. He's at my place for a few days. He's back out of town now for his work, but it was a really good time hanging out with him. Great time spending the 4th of July with him, making the video, hanging out, chilling it up, watching the fireworks here on 4th of July in my area. It was a fun time, great time. Hope you guys enjoyed that one up there. I can't wait to the next one we do, which we'll probably do more themed up ones. We dress up in costumes for different holidays and special occasions. And maybe in between too, we'll do like some other hanging out videos with P Nasty, other hood drink videos. Maybe some stuff around town, but the main ones, I'm gonna try to do at least for right now, themed up type stuff. Cause they're just kind of fun, get dressed up in costume and things like that. Were, those costumes were amazing. They were just so, so good. Awesome, awesome stuff. And on that note right there, let's get going right now. And I'll tell you more what kind of stuff I've been up to this past weekend. And it's going right now. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's you, you, come on, let's go. Going to a Wally World real quick. It is Tuesday, might as well see what you know came out today and that kind of stuff. And also we'll probably get a couple things in there since we're here. But as I that look, it's gonna rain out. It's not gonna rain, but it definitely has that look right now with the uh, clouds going in, but it's going there now. And we're in the movie area. Here's what came out there. You got to Civil War. This one up here. Um, I've not seen this for May 24. It came out, I think like a few months ago or so, something like that. I feel like it was sort of okay, but maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it was one to watch just to watch on a TV, like if it's on Max or something. I got Abigail right here. This is, this is really good. You get the uh, Blu-ray and you get the DVD of it up, up here for twenty two ninety six. That's nineteen ninety six. The price of that. Abigail this is actually pretty good. So they have not checked this out yet. But it's pretty good that one. Pretty cool. This came out for yeah. The main the main ones that came out were these two right up here. And we had a real quick note. Um, I'm still gonna you know movie area things like that. What movie one I'm thinking of? My man, what movie one? Because today on Tuesday of today is recording this July July 9th. It is his birthday, so happy birthday to you, my man, Brendan Mitchell, wet movie one. Happy birthday to you, my man, happy birthday. It's been a while since we hung out in person, but we'll definitely hang it out and do something soon. So we're doing, I'll do it up for some fun video stuff for you guys as us hanging out too. So happy birthday to you, man. Send him some birthday love up there, some July birthday love up there. But he has birthdays today, so very, very cool. Love the guy, awesome guy. I know for like, God, how long now? Like, over 10 years now, I think we know each other. So it's not crazy. I, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, happy birthday to you. And also speaking of birthdays, it was my buddy Brian's uh, birthday last week, July 2nd. We had a birthday party for him on Saturday. So that was really cool hanging out with him and his family and stuff like that. So it was really, really cool. I've known him for like almost more than half my life. So a great, great guy. Shout out to you, Ryan. If you're watching this video, happy birthday again to you. Me and my buddy Ryan, we saw Maxine last night. Um, but was, I definitely enjoyed Maxine. Um, so I heard some mixed things out there. Some, some people, a lot of people liked it. A few people didn't like it. I really liked it. it had a very nice, a, a nice, oh, the, the intercom, it had a very nice um, giallo uh, type feel, uh, the movie in a way. So very cool. I like that. And plus, I love the locations, being in Hollywood and a lot of, all the locations with the back lots of Universal Studios, Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and some of the, you know, the streets, the grimy streets of LA. So, so next time I'm, uh, I'm up in LA, I'm definitely gonna be checking out some of those locations. And some of the spots I already, already went to before anyway, like Hollywood Forever Cemetery and things like that, of uh, thinking of Maxine and get some footage of that, some locations for Maxine. But yeah, really good movie, that, that definitely enjoy that. But yeah, some, a, couple, a couple of birthdays up to, a couple of birthday, July birthdays from my man Ryan and Brennan. Happy birthday to both you guys. Boom. Just so walking around. We got some of these candles here. Look at these interesting candles up here. I just noticed these. I got like you know, some good religious candles and things like that, and some stuff for good vibes and that kind of thing, which is always cool. But look at these ones. These, uh, I don't get these green ones for luck. These are kind of funny with the, with the stickers on them. Lucky lottery uh, candles. So if I, if, I, if I light this up, will this, will this better my odds of striking it big in the lotto? Or this one for lovers, Adam and Eve. For, uh, you write the name right there, which is kind of creepy. You know, like the candle 
and hoping they would uh, fall in love with you. So it's kind of, that's kind of a creepy thing right there, but it just knows I was just now walking around here. But I do love me some good candles and some incense. Goodness and vibes, but let's go around here. Let's go to the food area. Maybe I'll pick up some snacks and stuff like that. The Cup of Noodles is back at it again with the strange campfire s'mores. That looks so nasty. Maybe, maybe I'll try one of these for the heck of it for the video later on. What the heck? Who wouldn't want this mold? I'll try it out. That's, that's so I did leave Wally World. I did put something in the car. You know, I did I did pick up the cup of noodles. So I'm gonna watch out for Taylor in the video. I'm gonna try that out. So let's go somewhere else. But yeah, that was gross. S'mores, I gotta, I gotta do it. Just driving by over at this uh, semi-shady hotel. I noticed this. Look at that classic HBO free in your room sign right there. I love that sign. HBO free. It's like definitely from like, I don't know, Maybe 89 to like 91 kind of look with the colors, but decided to show that. Driving by, I saw that. Yeah, very cool. Old school HBO. It was popping, you had a free HBO in your room. Decided to show that. Yeah. Remember those times? That's it. Bam. How cool. Back home now. I'm eager to try out in, in a sick way is way right up here. This. This evil culprit that is the uh, campfire s'mores. A couple of those, what the heck? So that's why I'm back home now. Let's got a little bit more, but I figured, you know what? Let's go back here. Let's try this uh, interesting concoction out. Let's a deeper look into what this looks like right about now, huh? And here we go. Look at this stuff. Look at this. Look at this crazy thing. The uh, campfire s'mores, ramen noodles, and sauce. Uh, look at that. Look, looks very nice, like right here. If you, if you just take this off, you'll be like, this, is, this looks pretty good. But it's just, just take off the ramen noodles, you'll be fine. But I'm looking at this. It looks, looks like it's nice and tasty and good, like a s'more. Then I look at the noodles, I'm like, what the heck? Saucy noodles with chocolatey like flavor with marshmallow and graham cracker. I have no idea. Why do they keep on making this stuff? What are, we, what are you guys doing on uh, Nissan? Uh, the ones I had last time almost made me uh, get sick. I wonder if these will be any better than that. I hope so. I hope these don't make me uh, feel like I'm gonna get sick. I saw this like come out like I think a couple of like a week or, like a week or so ago on Instagram. I thought it was like fake, but it's actually real and it is real because I saw it at Walmart just now and. I tried out. Let's go open this up real quickly. See how it looks when they're dry. And of course, I'm gonna cook them up now, and we'll eat them up. Oh my god! Look at that. It looks horrifying. Um, <laughs> oh my god! You have like little like like chocolate powder, and you have little baby marshmallows in there. Look, look, look at that. That looks. It's some um, noodles look like brains. If any brains, I'm gonna try this out. I mean, what am I doing trying this out? But I try it for you guys. For you guys, try this out. So. You guys won't have to, but maybe it might taste good. I doubt it, but uh, let's give it a little smell. Oh, it smells good. It smells like, like, like a cereal, it's like, like a, like a cocoa puffs or something like that cereal, rich marshmallow. But this is freaky because there's noodles in that thing. Let's go, uh, let's go cook this up. Yes. All right, I am back, and here is I guess the, the noodles all cooked. It smells um, not too bad, and uh, it's freaky still. This just the marshmallows look like they completely melted in there. Watch this; you'll see right now. All I see is this, that's all that's left of the marshmallow in that thing. Is 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 that? I don't know what that is, but that's what it is. It looks gross. Look at this. Oh my god! And there it is, folks. There it is, right up there. Here's the lid to it. Lovely lid. Let's go uh, stir this around. Yeah, I think the marshmallow is completely. Uh, dissolved in there. And unfortunately, I was looking for those little marshmallow bits, but you saw them, at least we saw them for preservation. But uh, it looks very strange. It smells, it does smell um, a lot better than the other ones, it's, it's, but it looks like sewage water, but it smells like a, you get that chocolatey uh, smell in there, but it definitely um, is throwing me off because noodles shouldn't taste like chocolate. Um, I don't see, I don't think so. And oh my God, this, this looks Oh, this looks freaky as all hell. The ASMR. Oh, yeah. Try this out. I'm a little bit scared. But uh, so it doesn't smell as bad as the other one did. But uh, but here we go. Nonetheless, I'm sure this is going to be very strange. And But maybe it might be good. You never know. It might be good. It's a, it's a bit steamy hot still. I'm going to blow on it. So don't burn my mouth off. And here we go, some uh, the, the taste test of the uh, cup noodles, uh, campfire s'mores flavor up here. Let's go try this out now, and yeah, let's see how they are.
Okay. Okay. I'm not getting sick off it. Like that one. The one, that one, that one time I had that one. I forget it was, was like the bagel one, which was made me sick. Horrible. Just one. Um, not too bad considering how crappy and strange it is. The chocolate flavor um, and hint of marshmallow and graham cracker, like a s'more, doesn't make it taste as horrible as I thought it would. Surprisingly, what the heck is wrong with me? What the heck? That's strange. I thought it was, I thought it was, I totally hate it. Um, I don't totally hate it. It's not, definitely better than the other two I had before. Nothing, I, I would not eat the whole thing of this, but I think I'm good at least, at least enough for one more good bite, like right there. And I'll really make an opinion of it. But so far, the first, that first taste test, not too bad, surprisingly. Didn't make me get a gag right away. Here's the go, number two, right here we go. Go. Okay. Strange. The second bite made me feel a bit weird. Not too bad though, but strange is this one. Um, don't hate it. I mean, I do hate it. I don't hate it as much though. It's not that bad considering. Have a little drink of this nice chocolatey sauce real quick. I'm gonna get much sauce, but it tastes horrible. Okay. That's where the sauce is all sucked up by the noodles. The noodles are in, the sauce is sucked up in the noodles. One more bite, because I'm a sick man. Oh my God, what am I doing? Okay. That's hot, that's hot. Hot and gross, hot and gross, hot and gross. Enough of that. Definitely better than the last two I had. Not that great, but not that bad. You can actually eat some of this, not the whole thing I would, I would recommend, but if you have a few bites of this, you might be okay. Other ones I got sick and gagged off them. The big one was horrible. This one is actually not too bad considering it was all right for what it was. Um, chocolatey in a way with marshmallow, like a s'more, but the noodles are throwing me off. The texture of it is strange, but it's not too bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse. There you go. Not too bad. Yeah. Watch down. Let's have a little, little truly action up here. Let's watch on that. That weird flavor. Oh my God. I don't think it made it any better, but this is a truly, yeah. So if you want to try this out for a fun novelty food item, uh, go get them, try with your friends or yourself and uh, whatever. And they're not as gross as the, as the other ones. They're not as gross, so that's a good thing. They're not, not as gross. They're a s'more, they're good for summertime fun, like a good laugh, you know, you put have this with some, uh, playing a game of uh, Monopoly, and uh, there you go, have some of that, try it out with your friends, see, see what you guys think. And rate, and rate it yourself. And that note right there, that'll conclude this video. Quick little video, just kind of just chilling it up. Got a couple places, nothing too crazy. Kind of just a little, just, just hanging out, talking with you guys, seeing how you guys' 4th of July went. And so I just want to say thanks so much for watching our video, me and Pierre did. And a couple of birthday shout outs to my buddy Ryan and Brendan. Birthday wishes to you guys out there. Also, it was real fun checking out and trying out that weird cup noodles right there. So I didn't gag off it. I feel like I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna survive. Unlike uh, last time where I almost heaved, <laughs> it was so bad, it was so bad. But I'm glad this one was a little bit a lot easier on the palate. But let, let me know down below if you're gonna try out that cup of noodles s'more flavor. If you guys didn't know about it, if you guys just found out about it watching this video today, let me know uh, down below what you guys think. And yeah, let me know if you're gonna try it out or not like that. But anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumb up, leave a comment below. If you're a channel and like what I do, make sure to subscribe, of course. And I'll catch you guys later next one. I'll see you then. And bye, have a good night.